Dear Pastor Bob, my husband doesn't want to go to church with me. He works many weekends, and the weekends that he does get off, he wants to stay home and rest. Even though he's a Christian, he tells me we don't have to go to church. I think that in his past, he had a bad experience in a church. Could be. So what about that? Do we have to go to church to be a Christian? No. Is everybody in a church a Christian? No. But the Bible does tell us to be involved in church. But we have to define what church means first. We've talked about it before on my podcast. Church basically means the body of Christ. It isn't a building. It isn't a destination. It's a group of people. The church, the body of Christ, getting together with other Christians. So you may need to redefine church together. Do you have to go to a building? No. Do you need to get together with other Christians and fellowship? Yes. You know, that could be anything. That could be getting together in a restaurant or a coffee shop and having a, a great discussion about the Lord, a Bible study, whatever you do. It could mean inviting people into your home or going to someone else's home. Or it could be going to that little church on the corner that has a service. It can be all of those things. And you have to decide what's best for you. Now, I understand that there are people that have been really wounded by church. And when they walk into a church, they feel the wounds and it doesn't seem to get better. And I get that. I really get that. There are so many people, maybe you're one of them, who feel that way. But that just simply means you need to redefine your experience. You need to decide what works best for you in spite of what you've been through. Plow ahead and figure it out. You know, it's, a, it's an important thing that we're part of the body of Christ. You are not complete by yourself. The Bible says that God's given all of us spiritual gifts. And all of our spiritual gifts are complete when we're together in the body of Christ. When we're separated from it, we each have our gifts, but they're not complete because we need everyone else's gifts too. Well, that's a really important reason to be part of a fellowship, to be part of a group of people, to be part of the body of Christ. When I look at my own life, you know, I'm under the bridge on Sundays. It's kind of church to us there. But all through the week, I have different kinds of people that I meet with, different kinds of interaction, uh, different things that complete me and are church to me. And my life is very full and very complete. And all of that without actually being involved in an organized or a church building. The closest thing that I get to church building is underneath a bridge with the homeless on Sunday. But that's church. And you see, it just depends on what works for you, what you feel comfortable in, and who you can find that will complete you. You know, the purpose of the body of Christ is to complete you and to encourage you, to stand beside you, to be part of your answers and not part of the problem, as some churches seem to be. So I understand when you worked all week and you're tired and you have a day off and it's Sunday that you just want to rest, totally get that. But you might want to think about another day during the week or another time or a time on Sunday when you can simply get together with some other people, maybe not very formally, but something where you are completed by the body of Christ. And you know when you do, it changes your life. God bless you. Have a great day. Oh, oh, oh.